The stock down about 6% this year. Last quarter, Disney announced a massive shift to prioritize streaming, but it's still a tiny part of the overall business. For more, let's bring in Tuna Amobi. He's senior analyst for CFRA Research and our own Julia Borston. Julia, I'll start with you. Uh, this strategic shift today seems to be paying off with the stock price reaction. Um, you know, the investors seem to like growth, even though I'm sure they have big concerns about the a lot of the current businesses. I mean, what how do we expect them to kind of tow this line today? Well, we did get a big bump on Monday from that positive vaccine news reassurance for the stock for investors that the company will be able to get its back open again eventually. But I do think that there will be a big emphasis in the earnings call today on the digital future of the game, the idea that they just did this reorganization to really emphasize that direct to consumer relationship. And I think it'll be really interesting to see what they say. Kelly and Tuna, in terms of what the potential is going forward, what they think the real addressable market is for their Disney Plus streaming service, considering that they've already hit their growth targets that were set for 2024. Hmm. Tuna, where are you on the stock? It's trading around 135 today. And what about the points that Dan Loeb made about Disney uh, basically holding for now, using that capital uh, to reinvest in these more promising areas? So, Kelly, we're still uh, recommending a buy on the stock. Um, I think, obviously, uh, the company cycling through the impact of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, which has had a very, very deleterious impact on the additional legacy uh, businesses. Um, I would think that this past fiscal year is a big draw for them. Uh, we're expecting them to kind of accelerate from here. Obviously, a lot depends on the vaccine development. Um, but I think Disney, as kind of we look at, is going to be a part of beneficiary. Uh, of that. And as far as the activist um, you know, news company, um, I was actually scratching my head uh, knowing that the company is already moving in the direction of direct to consumer streaming. Uh, now the question becomes how much more are they going to spend in, uh, in content from here on out, um, you know, which we expect more details of the investor they're coming up uh, in December. But that being said, uh, I do believe that uh, if you kind of look beyond this, um, you know, uh, issue of the COVID, uh, and then the, the economy begins to reopen, um, I don't think that in life sports also coming back, these are all the key in ingredients that we need to see that will make for uh, a very, yeah. very uh, good acceleration. Yeah, so you've got a buy rating on the stock. Uh, you know, I think, I think most of the street is more or less neutral on it. Uh, so that's interesting. You don't think they need to hold the dividend because they're doing the streaming investments already. So content's been one thing to look for, but as you said, uh, maybe at the upcoming investor day. Julia, what else is notable, you think, in the results tonight uh, in terms of the metrics people really look for? Well, look, of course, there's a big focus on those streaming subscriber numbers, not just for Disney Plus, but also for ESPN Plus and Hulu. Then, I think, for the film division, the movie studio, the question is what they say about their plans to go to the consumer. This new long release strategy where they charge an additional $30 for Disney Plus subscribers, the question is, did that work? Are they going to be doing more of that, or are they just going to be making films that maybe won't make it into theaters and put those direct-to-consumer without charging them more, which could be the direction they're going in? And then I think for the theme parks, the question is, how much is it going to cost them if they're a California park stay closed for a while? And what are the startup costs if they have to rehire all those employees they furloughed? Is this going to be an additional cost to get the, those parks and other parks around the world up and running again? All right, great.